Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Jost and Float. I am one of your hosts, Dwayne the Comic. Hey, and your boy, B double O B I E. Back with another video. Hope y'all ready. Hope y'all missed this. Deal, baby. Uh, what's the last song you listened to today? Um, tough. You got me. I honestly don't know, but I'm gonna think about it. What's the last song you listened to today? Um, tap in my Fredo Bay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Listen to that. Um, shout out to Fredo Bay. Yeah. Uh, I didn't listen to no music on the way here. Uh, the Wire theme song. That's the last music I listened to today. Okay. That's the best I got. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching The Wire all day. All right. So, I've been on the little Wire kick. <laughs> okay, well, going off of that, we'll jump into the news. Oh, before I get, I could have saved it for the shout outs, I didn't think about it, but it's on my mind, so... We don't have a guest this week, but shout out to Omar Finley. Yeah, His episode was lost in a tragic computer Man. accident. That goes Great the episode. episode. But yeah, y'all missed that one. So just, just for future reference, if we have, when we do have stand-up comedians on here, mm-hmm. unfortunately, whoever comes first will not be the first stand-up comedian yeah. we've had on this show you just won't because that, distinguish, that distinction goes to Omar Finley. Shout out to Omar. All I hope right. he's doing shout great out. in L.A. Yes, sir. When he best comes back, we'll team, try our best to do another episode. Most definitely. Yeah, it's main. But um, shout out, yeah, that was a good shout out. <laughs> Thank you. It's a good mid midway shout out. <laughs> All right, now going into the news. Um, Walmart fell into some controversy about right. a week or two ago. Okay. When did I put this? Uh, June second. So yeah, it's been a little minute. They <laughs> they sent out emails to like their member, their loyalty members. Mm. But in what do you call? What are you, the subject? Oh, okay. <laughs> and the subject of all the emails, it said, Welcome back, nigger. Oh, I did hear about <laughs> that. Long trip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine if you got that. <laughs> Apparently, a lot of people. <laughs> everybody got it. Like, I don't, I guess, it, I don't. Like, all Walmart people are only like black, low, middle, mm-hmm. middle uh, white. It was white people, people, too. Oh, wow. Black and white. <laughs> I don't get It didn't explain. I, I guess somebody typed it as a joke, probably. Nah. <laughs> like, just to save it. <laughs> somebody tried and then to when they po- when they posted it into the email to send it out, they didn't change it. Mm, Some shit like that. Forgot all about it. Just kept going with business. What should I put for welcome back to Walmart? Like, I don't got no name. I got it. Put nigger. <laughs> all right. Nah, you're so crazy. You think that's a good so idea? So crazy, Bob. <laughs> Say, you sure nobody's going to see it? No, they will change it before we send it out. It's okay. Send it to the whole world. Yeah. But the crazy part is nothing happened to him because I kind of forgot this happened. Yeah. They didn't really get see, no backlash from this. See this? See me? <laughs> oh, Nigga still got up and went to Walmart. Controversy. Yep. I think I was in Walmart the other day. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome to Walmart, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so glad you can make it. <laughs> and then shout out to this young black genius. Mm-hmm. I love young black geniuses. A Los Angeles toddler has been accepted into Mensa. I don't know what Mensa is, but <laughs> shout out. <laughs> shout out. The lo- into Mensa, the largest and oldest. Oh, okay, okay. I should have kept reading. Yeah. I haven't read it in a while. <laughs> <laughs> the toddler was accepted into Mensa, which apparently is the largest and oldest high, Q- high IQ society in the world. Oh, shit. So he's basically yeah. in the Illuminati. Yeah, for, for smart people. <laughs> Yeah, he's a toddler. As a toddler. You know, I, usually you gotta wait till you're like 25 to get accepted into the Illuminati. Man, for real. He did it as a toddler. You gotta sacrifice a few bodies or something. <laughs> you just chill. Cash Quest is just two years old and has wow. an IQ of 146. Ooh. Just for some reference, in case you don't know. Cash Quest, it sounds like a rapper. Yeah, he does. Or an NBA player. Mm-hmm. Warren, oh, okay. just for reference, Cash has an IQ of 146. Warren Buffett, who is extremely rich, has an IQ of 145, mm-hmm. and Elon Musk, who is even more rich, well, maybe not, but you know what I mean, <laughs> has an IQ of 155. Dang. So this kid, as a toddler, is already up there in between Warren Buffett and Elon Musk when it comes to brain capacity. Who brain is this power. Kid? Who is this family? Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Shout out to him. That's awesome. Cash is, oh my bad, not anymore. But when Cash was 17 to 18 months, she had already recognized the alphabet, numbers, colors, and oh, shapes. It's a young lady. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Shut she, up. She can Little also identify up. all fifty states by shape and location on a map. She knows over fifty signs in sign language. Mm. Can count to a hundred. Okay. Can identify elements on the periodic table by their symbols and has already learned to read. Hmm. How old is she? Um, it, say. it doesn't say. It just calls it a title. Oh, well, two years old. My bad. Two. Wow. Okay. This baby's yeah. two years old. You do stuff I can't do. <laughs> count to 104. That and the uh, name, fifty all 50 states by shape yeah, and location on the map, oh, yeah, can't yeah. do it. Oh, the periodic table. That too, can't do that either. Yeah. Shapes and colors? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> Maybe. Could struggle through that one. <laughs> that might get a couple right. So if it ain't a square, I don't know what it is. Yeah. So it was a rhombus. So it's just another square of shape. Okay. Well, that's all I know. <laughs> No one can take this test. It's impossible. <laughs> Both sides. That's it. Now, on my last bit of news, I've had, I think this is actually like my fourth time doing a, st a story like this. Apparently, white people are just very forgetful. Mm -hmm. or they, lose, they just love to lose shit. But, but apparently, in 2013, there was a British man named James Howells who accidentally threw a hard drive away containing 7,500 Bitcoin. Mm. He Ooh. lost the hard drive and it is now worth over $350 million. <sighs> he is currently attempting to offer the city $70 million to dig it out the dump for him. Man, he better go dig it out the dump. Is he serious? He probably won't let him in. Oh. <laughs> He's Man. 35 years old. He said he mistakenly threw the hard drive in the trash while cleaning out his home. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he needs permission from his local council to search the dump. He said, I give y'all 70 million. I'm like, and they rejected it. Because they probably don't believe him. <laughs> they probably think he's crazy. But if he isn't, somebody's going to get in that dump and find that. <laughs> it's a hard drive, you said? Mm -hmm. Man, what in the hell? <laughs> 7,500 <laughs> Bitcoin? Mm -hmm. Man, do you? Oh. Crazy you said 350 like... million, but. Mm -hmm. Man, this is stupid. And it's not, this is, like I said, it's like the fourth time I've done a story like this. People throwing away Bitcoin or losing the password. That's what it normally is. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you show you right, show you right. How you just, man, bro, I don't know. Imagine losing $350 million. Oh, did you see the story about the lady that was homeless and uh, she died? Oh, And then later on yeah. they found out she had like $200,000 in the bank or something? Yeah. Did you see the video about the dude? <laughs> he won $30 million. No, he won the lottery. He got like $30,000. He spent 20 of it on a chain. And then, oh. they, then he got robbed. Oh, <laughs> he got robbed at the gas station on video. Now you got $10,000. With no chain. No chain. <laughs> Nothing to show for that 20 -day. Bro, they, he walked no, outside. Why he only got, oh, he, he had just like a little scratch off ticket or something. I guess. I don't know. He walked outside to like go to his car and the niggas jumped him. He ran. He ran and fell. Uh, Bro, he fell right in the door. Like, in the door to get in the gas station. The niggas <laughs> was beating him up and took his chain, like, in the middle of the doorway to get oh into the gas station. God. And then ran off. Say, brother, you gotta go buy you a piece with that. The niggas gonna try to touch you. The niggas say, ah, oh, don't touch my, don't touch my necklace. Don't touch my necklace. Get off me. Just got that chain. Yeah, my, gra <laughs> my grandma might even buy me this chain. Man, nigga wanna... Won all that money in the lottery. 30000 How much luck you need to win the lottery, and he just let a nigga steal it. You got to fight harder than that. It was like How three, many? It was three niggas. Man. You right. beat up, you beat him up. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think, I don't know. I just wouldn't have been wearing the chain as everyday use. I know you spent a lot of money on it. What True, too. Go where it was from? Huh? They said where it was from. Oh, I don't remember. I think they from Chicago, though. But I, you know, I think it, it since you said that the gas station did not look like it was wearing a chain like that material. True. You just spent <laughs> 20 bands on this chain. Only got 10 bands left, so you can't go buy another chain. <laughs> nope. Say, <laughs> like, come on, bro. And I know you ain't you uh, get insurance on it. 
Detroit. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds about right, too. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. 
to you it. Least the city, change you can at least in the city, you ain't gonna go to it. That nigga gonna be safe in Lake Charles, like, in the change that at the gas station. Uh, they they gonna on the gas station. Oh, yeah, I guess you put it that way. Because Lake Charles so small, so the nigga ain't gonna have to ch- follow you to the gas station. Nine times out of ten. Nigga already know you gonna be here. Yeah. That's the problem with Lake Charles. <laughs> <laughs> it's so small, <laughs> nigga can find you if you wanna find you. And that's why I like y'all that like that. Niggas ain't pulling up on each other just blasting and shit. Yeah, that's why I like y'all that like that. Yeah, that's why I like y'all that like that. Yeah, that's why I like y'all that like that. Yeah, that's why I like y'all that like that. Yeah, that's why I like y'all that like that. Yeah, that's why I like y'all that like that. Yeah, that's why I like y'all that like that. Yeah, that's why I like y'all that like that. Yeah, that's why I like y'all that like that. Yeah, that's why I like y'all that like that. Yeah, that's why I like y'all that like that. Yeah, that's why I like y'all that like that. Yeah, that's why I like y'all that like that. Yeah, that's why I like y'all that like that. Yeah, that's why I like y'all that like that. Yeah, that's why I like y'all that like that. Yeah, that's why I like y'all that like that. Yeah, that's why I like y'all that like that. Yeah, that's why I like y'all that like that. Yeah, that's why Yeah. Shout out to how you want to be gangsters. No. No <laughs> shout out to y'all. Y'all get to no shout out. Yeah, shout out to the Go read a book or something. Yeah. But if you really like that. Go get a job. Then that's cool. Yeah, I mean, I guess shout out. <laughs> shout out to the real gangsters. Mm-hmm. The real G's. Shout free, out to y'all. Free, free all the ones that need to be free. Nah. And the ones that if, if we sh- If we shout out the niggas, I think we shout out. Ain't none of y'all niggas in the in, the j- in jail right now need to be free. <laughs> y'all need to be. No offense free. to y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all belong in there. Political prisoners thing. Because <laughs> that brother would do that. Free all the brothers. And the good sisters. I'm going to just move on. Yeah. He don't want to free nobody. That's crazy. I want to free some, but not most. If that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. It does. <laughs> I can see what you said. <laughs> say, him, he got Just because you're black, brother. Nah, I'm not talking about nah, you. Nah, nah, I ain't say free, <laughs> I ain't say free all black people. Say free all the brothers and, and sisters. Yeah, well, you know. You ain't got no no brothers and sisters in jail, so. I, I mean. You do? Not no brothers. <laughs> you got no sisters in jail? Well, not no sister either. No, so what you mean? <laughs> I got a cousin, though. That's not what I said. I know. That's why I was like, well, that's all I was saying. Not no sibling. That's what I should have said. I don't have a sibling in jail. I have a relative, though. First cousin. And it counts for anything. I mean, it does, but that's not what I, All I was saying was you didn't have a brother or sister in jail. I didn't mean you didn't have anybody in jail. Or who you consider a brother. Yeah, okay. I was taking it for I a literal sense. <laughs> no, I ain't. I ain't got no. I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's fine. I'm happy about that too. It sucks that my cousin. Yeah, you should take free tea too. You might not have to see this. <laughs> <laughs> not no time soon. <laughs> <laughs> my man. <laughs> just, 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 just go to the. You know what? <laughs> 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 Bear with me. All right. So either lemon juice in the cut or salt in the wound. Salt in the wound? Mm. I too would probably say salt. Lemon juice don't clean wounds, right? No, nah, it's probably good. Yeah, so well, it's a cut. Give me the salt. Salt will clean a little. At least clean it. Lemon juice will burn like a motherfucker. That's salt. Sock and boppers or whole canes? You remember what sock and boppers were? Mm hmm. That's the, uh, that was the blow up ones, right? Mm hmm. Sock and boppers, sock and boppers. You remember that little commercial? I wanted them all so bad, I swear. I never right. had either. Well, I had some sock and boppers. I would. And punch a whoever was popping. I had whole canes too, though. 
I mean, maybe Hulkamp, I guess. That's the only thing I've seen in person I actually, like, played with. I've never seen anybody with soccer bottles at their house. Shlub. I feel like the whole camp is a more iconic. Mm, I can see that. Yeah. Them bitches hurt, though. Chit chat. That's, <laughs> that's like some foam, basically, I think. With fucking hard ass plastic behind it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Them bitches were solid. That was low key, like, really punching the shit out of somebody. It was no mm-hmm. cushion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Sandpaper napkin or poison ivy tissue? Sandpaper napkin. That's, like, that's easy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's easy. I'd rather anything napkin like that over some tissue. Okay. Smoke a blunt lace with PCP <laughs> or a blunt lace with cocaine? What are the effects of PCP? Man. <laughs> it just gets you high. Man. I don't know shit. It's, like, basically, it's just like some souped up weed, I think. Some souped up weed? Basically. It, I don't know. It's... It's kind of like weed, but not really. <laughs> a, I don't thing. think it's like weed at yeah, all. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's something completely different. I think it's I like some weed that's dipped in something, though. Like wet? I think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think PCP and wet is the same thing. Uh, that butt naked. <laughs> that shame. I might have to go with the PCP, because I ain't trying to smoke no crack. <laughs> Me neither. I'm pretty sure PCP is less addictive. Cracking crack, right? You don't know if you like crack until you try it, though, right? That's the catch, though, because you're going to like it regardless. <laughs> that's just what you say to the nigga hit it. That's the best part about crack. <laughs> you know, you're going to love you're it. You're going to like it. So that's just what it is. <laughs> it's like the body's designed to love crack. <laughs> <laughs> and the government knew that, so that's why they released it. Mm-hmm. I've never once in my entire existence of living heard a story where somebody said they smoke crack and you didn't like it. <laughs> I ain't so I smoked it before. But yeah. I ain't, it wasn't for me. So you shouldn't try it. It was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so they would tell you, say that shit was crazy. <laughs> I felt so good. I'll never do it again, though. <laughs> All right. Either dump into a vat of acid for one second or set on fire for five seconds. What kind of acid? There's multiple kinds. Yeah, good. <laughs> Damn. Um, all that I think of is hydrochloric. Yeah, I knew you were going to say some shit like that. Yep, because that's the first one that pops in my head. I mean, it's really just do you want to die? You want to, like, you want to melt to death? Or the second is just, that's going to be a long ass second. But when you come out, it's going to still be on you, so you're going to just be melting. That's what I was talking about. Oh. <laughs> that's what I did not take into consideration. Yeah, it ain't like the shit just gonna stay all in the tub when they pull you out there. It's just <laughs> it's gonna stick to you. Yeah, you already halfway melted. Damn. Do you want to melt to death or be or be burned to death? Well, for five seconds, you'll be all right. Stop dropping roll in five. A thousand one. A thousand two. Hold on. That's a long ass second. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> this is gonna be funny because I know you ain't gonna do it. You gonna set me on fire? No, I'm not gonna set you on fire. Oh, this nigga got up like he's about to set me on fire. Something like that, though. Oh, nah, you can do it. Just like what? Just what? Oh, you gonna hold the file next to me? <laughs> Put your hand over it and see if you can do it in five seconds. Oh, nah. <laughs> don't, you ain't gotta, it don't have to be a certain distance. Just see how close you can hold it for five seconds. Alright. <laughs> Thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I could have kept going, but fuck that. I ain't winning no prizes. <laughs> but my skin would be fucking gone. Exactly. <laughs> Stop dropping the roll. Shit. You ain't gonna remember that shit by the time you get five <laughs> seconds. You gonna have forgot everything. Say what is going <laughs> on? <laughs> Damn. Fuck that. But I'd probably go with the fire though. Okay. Just had, had them fire extinguishers ready. <laughs> I need like five of them bitches. <laughs> and that acid ain't nothing. Too. I know that acid, you ain't surviving that. Alright, last one. Eat a buffalo penis pizza or rat tail nacho. Mm. <laughs> that sounds delicious, doesn't it? Like, we, like I said last time, how is this, 
How is this prepared? How is these rat? Is it just nachos with the rat tail thrown on top? Whole? Like, what's going so on? Raw rat tail and raw buffalo fiends. Some sauteed buffalo fiends and some fried rat tail. How about that? Sauteed buffalo penis pizza with some kind of barbecue glaze and fried rat tail nachos. I'd probably put with the fried rat tail nachos. <laughs> If it's done good enough, it's gonna taste like just chicken, chicken nachos. Shit, no. I don't know. <laughs> you know you th- exactly. I don't. You right. That buff, that sauteed, but it's, it's too much going on. You don't know, like that. Not even with the barbecue. Sauce. At that point, then it's to it's to like where I'm. I feel like I'm supposed to be enjoying the penis. Like I'm supposed to be experiencing this shit. <laughs> so you going to enjoy the right tails <laughs> thing? No, it's to be easier to get down and like. Think about it, bro. If somebody really saw, done all that work to make make you eat that pink, they gonna ask you. you they gonna really yeah. want a real review from that shit. Man, they did all that work to make them right there, not too. It's fried, bro. You ain't do that much. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know how hard you it just, is. You just fried the cover up some. So you don't think it's hard? It's way harder to get a bunch of rat tails in there to get a buffalo pink or something. I'm pretty sure the chef didn't have to go catch all this shit. He did. They you just don't know. Maybe he's that dedicated to his craft. Okay, well I'm gonna be honest. I don't give a fuck. No. <laughs> wow. That's not. Wow. Man, I don't want to do this anyway. I don't that's, care how much trouble cool. you went for. So now I you, had to eat the shit. You, you didn't upset the chef, and you came. I already ate it. Wow. What are you gonna do? Spit my food? Maybe it's already gone. I ain't coming back. Y'all serve bull penis and rat tails at this hell. You right. I'm coming back to this thing. <laughs> Fair enough. You will never see me again, sir. Yeah, that's over with. <laughs> Dead. Give me them nachos. What you, you, so you eating the pizza? I made it sound since, good. Since they, yeah, since I, they did all this I, work. I was, prep, I was piping that a little. No, no pun intended. They paused. Uh, <laughs> shit. Dang. I don't even know. I'm going uh, to have to go with... Uh, Clock's ticking. Right tail. <laughs> oh, it didn't even went with my shit. <laughs> It just sound, I was about to say it, but it, it just gonna sound weird. Cause I say I'll, I'll take your buffalo penis pizza. You say the pizza? <laughs> nah, you gotta you gotta call it what it is. Yeah, I want the pizza. I don't know if I want the pizza though. So you go with the nachos. I'm you gotta pick something. <laughs> I'm just have to pick both of them. Cause That's I don't cool want either. Cause I don't want Hungry one. boy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it on. <laughs> Let's get it on. All right. Next, we got a little riddle. Last episode, it was what invention let you look right through a wall? A glory hole. <laughs> no, it's that not. answer is still right. That is not. I don't give a fuck. It's not right. <laughs> no matter right. how many times you say that. So answer this. And you try to explain it. Answer this and I'll be I'll be satisfied. <laughs> okay. Can you look through a glory hole? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. However. I ain't know however. <laughs> that is not what a glory hole is used for. I didn't ask that. A glory I said, Can hole you look is through used for putting dicks for. Through. For. <laughs> exactly. Put your dick for it. Yeah. Put your dick for this. Dicks are for glory holes. Glory holes are for dicks. To, but they can also through. be used as a no. seeing device no. into the next stall. No, because that defeats the whole purpose of the glory hole. It serves another purpose. No, you're not supposed <laughs> to be looking through the glory hole. The whole point of it is like just a little break. hole that the dick pops through and then whatever. The person on the side, other side does what they want with their dick. <laughs> well, that's what they want they can saute it, they can yeah, fry it. Exactly. If that's what the other person is into. Okay. And the dick stays on the side. I mean, I assume once the dick doesn't like what you're doing to it, it pulls back. Hopefully. Yeah. Unless you got a grip on it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> stuck in it. Oh my god. Stuck in the glory hole. Oh, man, imagine that. Getting stuck my in brother. the glory hole. My brother. Pull me out. It's just, just a slight turn. <laughs> Shouldn't do the trick. stuck. I mean, Help. So how do you get stuck in a glory hole? Say, man, you ain't gonna believe it. <laughs> Stuck my dick through it. It wouldn't let go. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Never again. Not the 
best experience I've ever had. <laughs> Say I'm done with glory hoes, man. You can't do it. <laughs> but as you can't, if you can't tell, we this was on the last episode with Omar that got yeah, lost. Awesome. This was the riddle. Yeah, y'all didn't get to see it, so I had to definitely use it. I use that answer, and I still stand by that answer. That answer is correct. It is you not. You can't see through walls the with answer, a glory hole. The answer is a window. Which I also got right. That's, yeah. Get my credit. On the second try, because you didn't get, the, get it right. I, so. Technically, I still did, because like I said, the glory hole. a window is nothing more than a glory hole with glass in it. No. Whose dick is going to fit in that window? Mine. Your dick can't fit through that window. This is a ginormous window. Come on now. Okay. Your dick can't. No. You, you can't. A fit glory the- hole <laughs> is a dick-sized hole. Yes. That normally is a normally. This is a, <laughs> this is a different this take is a, on a this glory is an hole. Abnormal glory hole. <laughs> yes. All right. So if somebody was just using a glory. Art. You think glory holes came before windows? Then? Probably. <laughs> Probably I'd I I'd, I'd put some money on it. What if we make this big and just put some glass in it? That would be great, right? Like, no. Man, you know what? I'll, I'll be sticking my dick through this hole. You know what would be cool? <laughs> it's like a seat through that motherfucker once sometimes. It would be amazing, right? <laughs> like imagine that. Let me put some glass in that bitch. Hey, wait, wait! Take your dick out of there. <laughs> just just back up for a second. Let me see something. I can see right through this. <laughs> 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 you know, we put some glass in that bitch. It can put those in houses. Wait, we'll call it a window. <laughs> exactly. Because we can't call it a glory hole. <laughs> no one would want it. Yeah. You want, you want some glory holes in your kitchen? Damn. <laughs> so, today, kids will learn how <laughs> glory holes inspire today's window. I'm trying to tell you. That's just crazy. Me <laughs> <laughs> say, huh. You can say, can your dick fit through this window? Of course, my dick can fit through. You know, <laughs> big as one. <laughs> okay, could your dick fill that up? Oh that's no, what, that's what a glory that's hole. completely different. Well, yeah, fit and fill cool. is two different <laughs> words. That is completely different. So you fit, you fit that fit, you, <laughs> you don't really fill it out. Yeah, that is completely different. Mm. Fill this window up? No, God no. <laughs> no, not at all. Put my dick through this. <laughs> yeah, through this fit, little fit fit through it? Oh yeah, yeah. fit for that. I can do flips. My dick can do flips through this window. <laughs> <laughs> All right, move it on. <laughs> My dick today. Come on, this this room for everybody through this one. <laughs> Say, come on down. <laughs> World's biggest glory hole. Pause on that, just in case. Yeah. I don't. It felt. I felt a little gay coming oh, out yeah. of my mouth. Pause Damn, again. I said, come on down. <laughs> pause. Big pause. But yeah. That's, All right. <clears throat> moving on. Let me know if you agree. Are glory holes no. glassless windows? Yes. Yes, they are. No. I'll spoil it. They are. <laughs> it makes it spoiler alert. <laughs> Go ahead. Spoiler alert. Today's riddle. What sees everything but has no eyes? Okay. I think, right. I, think I might have I might have. Alright. So if you know, comment down below. Let me know. And I'll let you know on the next show. Alright. Today, everybody. We're gonna do something. Very special to me. Very near and dear to my heart. And something that Dwayne loves. And I hope that you love at home. Because it's very important to me. And one day it will be important to you. Ladies and gentlemen. Aprendamos! Espanol. Oh my God. (laughs) There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Aprendamos Espanol. Let's learn Spanish. Yeah, I'm <laughs> my dog. So, as you all know, lately I have been extending our lesson a little bit. I don't have anybody to explain it to today except you and Dwayne. We so, drill. yeah. But just in case you <laughs> and you're new here, on the podcast formerly known as The Joes, I used to just, you know, pick words and sentences and phrases from movies that I loved. And uh, I just translate them into Spanish. Recital. But, you know, I realized if I'm going to call it Let's Learn Spanish, why don't I teach you a little Spanish, right? So, 
I, uh, nowadays I just like to dig, get you, you know, let's learn the alphabet. Today's letter is C. Oh, excuse me. Set. Mm-hmm. Big C's. Here are our three words today, folks. Caro. Coche. Car. Those are interchangeable. <laughs> That's why I said both of them. Don't worry. Look, I tell you. He got worried, folks. No. Those are interchangeable. So say it with me. Caro. Roll those R's. Coche. You didn't roll the R. Yeah, I did. You ain't listening. <laughs> You want me to say it again? Carl. Oh, okay. oh, what? Stop. <laughs> hey, tell us, dude, stop me. All right. Next. Cabeza. Head. Cabeza. Camisa. Shirt. Okay. Camisa. <laughs> all right. And now, we're going to take a little sentence using all three words. Bear with me, folks. This sentence is a bit of a run-on, but it's okay. Estaba en el coche agotando mi casa, mi camisa, alrededor de mi cabeza como un helicóptero. I was in the car waving my shirt around my head like a helicopter. <laughs> Petey Papa. I almost said R.I.P. for some reason. <laughs> nah, I, I don't, he's not dead. Almost killed Petey Pablo. <laughs> Here's the way you niggas, said it. Niggas be ready to kill Petey Pablo. <laughs> it's just an R.I.P. Like it, to, Take your shirt off. You said it so smooth and R.I.P. just felt like it followed it for yeah. some reason. Nah, this, it was a smooth little shout out to Petey Pablo. Shout out to North Carolina. North Carolina. Come on and stay with us. Yeah, that was a jam. I wonder if they like still listen to that at parties in North Carolina. <laughs> like that's like a na national anthem. Yeah. Hmm. Like, oh, it's a North this Carolina my, party. This you my, know what that means? Say they be barbecuing and shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hold on. Yeah. <laughs> hey, oh, this shit. This my new kiss to cook, but I got to take this on while I'm dancing. <laughs> hold on, I got to wave my shirt around real mm -hmm. quick. <laughs> that shit crazy. North Carolina tradition. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Petey Pablo. Niggas got his records and shit. <laughs> Say, nah, I got them on vinyl. I went crack digging for this. I'm an OG Petey fan. <laughs> Even when he did that song with Sierra, I liked that one. <laughs> so that wasn't really him, but you know, he did it. What song was that? Um, uh, I'm not being too dramatic. This oh! Way I gotta have it. One, two, step? Yeah, that's what it was. I can't remember that name. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she found some bop before she first popped on the scene. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, That's fine. Damn, okay. One of her methods of blowing up was telling people was starting a rumor that she used to be a man. Man. What a weird way to get on. <laughs> Niggas just believing it, too. I, I did. Mean, maybe she used to be a man. And then she, uh, that's when she was dating Bow Wow. Yeah. Bow Wow always take L's like that, so uh, it made sense. <laughs> that made it more believable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, that's why you were Bow <laughs> <laughs> Of course, that makes sense. She's dating Bow Wow. There's so no way have... Bow Wow could get her without... <laughs> that, 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 niggas not trying to be happy for Bow Wow. That's total. Still not. Shout out to Bow Wow, man. Shout out to Bow Wow. All right, and my last little segment that I'm trying that I'm bringing back every once in a while fun facts I don't know if you knew this or not guys I didn't but Christopher Columbus discovered America completely by accident I knew that mm -hmm. so what happened was Queen Isabella sent him out long story short short Queen Isabella sent him out on a voyage to go to India for spices and all that other stuff well, Chris and his band of geeks and shit went the wrong way. <laughs> Fucked up. Ended up in what we know as, know now as the West Indies. India, West Indies. He fucked up, say, tried to save his ass. Didn't even change the name after everybody found out. Nope. So, and then that's <laughs> where, obviously, everybody knows, like, Indian. Native Americans. Yeah. Stuff like that comes from. 
So Chris gets in, starts just wreaking havoc on the place. You know what I'm saying? Making people slaves, giving everybody syphilis. It's normal, just normal white people shit yeah, back just, there. Just total debauchery. <laughs> and you know he has a holiday now. So shout out to you, Christopher Columbus. You fuck. <laughs> No shout out. Negative shout out. <laughs> the reason GPS is now so popular. You read the news? The reason why we need GPS is. No. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, no shit like that happens. This would never have happened. <laughs> and he just went the wrong If he way. had a garment. And then just found some place to say, oh, this is for me now. Look at all these Indians. <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah. nigga? Say, a what? What you call me? What is that? <laughs> Indian. We in India, right? I don't know. What the know. fuck is India? Say, nigga, I don't know what it's called, <laughs> but it ain't. This definitely ain't no India. I am a Native American, sir. <laughs> no, I Probably didn't even call themselves that. <laughs> what is America? Yeah. What is all of this? Nigga, come, white people tough. come over and start naming shit. Niggas <laughs> named it after a nigga that didn't even do nothing. <laughs> Just drew maps and shit. Hey, man. Ain't never went nowhere. How, how you draw a map? You, don't even, you ain't never went nowhere. I don't know if that's true. See, see, you get some, get some paper and a pencil. Yeah. <laughs> Just draw some shit. I'm pretty sure you would. <laughs> like I did. Y'all be careful now. That's how niggas end up in the wrong place. <laughs> then they came in and sold that shit to them. Yeah. Nigga really bought that map. So they came shit. up on the big I hope they get. I hope they end up somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I feel sorry for whoever they let in. They gonna think the boys ain't the answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's all. Think about it. You gotta think this boy did. But oh um, okay. Jumping out of that, mm-hmm. I'm gonna jump into another fan favorite, which I like to call the Adventures of Florida Man. Now, I'm gonna have to apologize to y'all. I had a three pack on the Omar episode, Ooh. which got lost. All of those are gone. I'm not doing them again. Three piece. But luckily, I have a I have a story which is just as good. I'm sorry, he ain't get no biscuit with that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Florida man was charged after driving his ten year old son to participate in a drive by shooting with a paintball gun. Oh man! <laughs> in which the boy ended up getting shot with a real gun and ran over. <laughs> that took a big turn. Damn! <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Did, how the story jump from paintball? <laughs> Hey, boss, the real bullets. Wait, is the kid okay? I'm tripping. He got ran over. No, he's not okay. Oh, well, not okay. Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's alive. He's not dead. They can say, is he okay? <laughs> he got Let me hit you with a car. Sh- <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Let me shoot you. <laughs> and see if you okay. But yes, investigators say 26-year-old Michael Williams agreed to his son's request of driving him by home Sunday night and letting him set well, not set fire, but let loose his fire. They fucked up the wording. It says something about fire, and I didn't read it all the way. Mm. But to let his son let off his paintball gun. He agreed to take his son somewhere and do a drive-by with his paintball gun. <laughs> the homeowner reportedly mistook it for real gunfire and shot back. So, yeah, I didn't even know how to pull him up. He shot Say, oh, hey, no. <laughs> the boy then lost his balance and was run over by his father's vehicle. Oh, he hit the <laughs> he <ran. laughs> Oh man, and insult to injury, bro. Williams was charged with child neglect with great bodily harm. Oh man, he about to lose his son. And did y'all hear the age? Ten, and he twenty six. Yes. Yeah. This nigga was sixteen yeah, when he had that kid. Person. This yeah, is I'm father. Yes. <laughs> This is what happens oh, when teenagers have kids. Let babies have babies. So you want to go do what? You want to go do a drive-by? Shit, yeah. Hell yeah! Let's, let's, let's go. go! Come on! Yeah. Get your paintball gun! I'll I mean, son, I'm, I'm so proud. This is your first Ten years guess. old on your first drive, on your first leg. It's not a real gun, but my it's son, a story. Yeah. <laughs> my son doing dirt. We're going to get there. So you got you to gotta shoot this real, this paintball gun so I can see how you handle it. So then we get you the real gun. Ran over my son. Man, wait. So why they they just went to a random person's house? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I mean, I'm assuming they knew the dude. Nah, I don't know. So. Ain't no way you knew him if he shot at you with a real gun. Well, I mean, he said that he just heard some shooting. He thought it was real. So man, you 
I'm gonna be if you in your house and somebody starts shooting your shit, shit <laughs> you gonna be like, wait, what is that? <laughs> Say, uh, uh-uh. by the sound of that, that's a paintball. Uh, uh-uh. yeah, <laughs> listening into. <laughs> Say, oh, sh- 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 don't shoot yet. Wait, what? It- be quiet. <laughs> oh, we thought about it. that's a paintball. Mm-hmm. Put your gun. Up. <laughs> yeah. Put your gun up. That's a paintball. Gun. That's why we always assess the situation. <laughs> uh, uh-uh, I'm shooting yeah. back. Yeah. We can't be out here like every day and cops <laughs> just shooting, not asking questions. But yes, sir, that's what. Shout out to Shout out Floyd, man. man. Yeah. In that can, like you said, you think he need to get? He need to be free. He need to let him out. Nah, he needs to. <laughs> that Floyd, that Floyd man particularly needs to sit out for a little while. Just, he needs to think, assess his life. He little don't little. know. He's just a dumb father, yeah. uneducated. Yeah, so we need to get this man some classes. Yeah, he needs to educate himself and. <laughs> Jail system for not even. I don't even think jail. I think taking this kid away is more than enough. Though. He definitely don't need to be a parent. <laughs> and I ain't even got no kids, so I should probably shut up. But I ain't got no kids I either. But I know if they ask to go on a drive, I'm supposed to say no. And I'm 26 right now. My 10 year old son said, "Hey, can you drive?" I'm like, "Man, sit your stupid." <laughs> so, and then we could go in the backyard and shoot that paintball gun or something. Give me, give me, give me that gun. Yeah. And that's what my people would tell me. Give me that paint. You obviously, yeah, you <laughs> obviously don't need this. You doing too much. You don't need this. This is for shooting cans and yeah, shit, yeah. not the houses and people. Yeah, I wouldn't even got no paintball gun in Tim I ain't even gonna lie to you. They wouldn't have bought it from nobody. I had a BB guns, I think. I think I had a BB gun. Didn't get one of them either. I had to sneak and buy one. And we shot, and we shot each other with that. That's why. I, was. I didn't need those BB guns. Hey, we was busting. Shot in the ass. Just go way over there. It's gonna be all right. We gonna shoot at each other. Whoever gets shot first, lose. Man. Which is really. It was really loud. We just need the protection. We just gonna do that shit. We ain't had nothing. No niggas was wearing like white beaters and shit. <laughs> really, just out there shooting. Busting at each other. Ain't got no shoes on. Nothing. No protection. Shot niggas getting shot in the chest. You know, niggas getting shot in the finger. <laughs> shot in the ass. Started bleeding. Niggas, a couple niggas started bleeding. At least ain't nobody getting hit in the eye though. Luckily. Because <laughs> it wasn't like we wouldn't aim it for the face. They ain't yeah. had nothing safe and they ain't had nothing safe for us like that though. Like what? what? Compared to what? Shoot niggas with BB? They had a lot of safe too, man. Not, not anything. Not to what we could have. We could have <laughs> rolled around for it, not rolled around. No, we could. Yeah. And they, now we bring the stupidity to the world. We could have. We should have. We should have nerve dumb, battles. But don't this is in the streets. Nerve battles just wasn't cool enough. BB guns was cool. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> Fuck them. them niggas tough. They shooting each other with BBs. <laughs> For fun. We some pussies. We got nerf guns. Hey, man. <laughs> you alive at the end of the day. We was too. It's a little bloody. Shit. It's make it tough. Take a BB. <laughs> Take a couple BBs to Back the day, we have Nerf guns. We had BB guns. Shit, nigga. <laughs> Man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't sit your old ass down, Curtis. <laughs> so you want the kids to shoot each other with BB guns? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> and it was character. Structure. Yeah, this structure. At least that way, when they get shot in the streets, they'll know what to do. Need to know, need to go through the struggle. <laughs> Understand what it's like. Spoon feed them their whole life. Let them, you gotta give them the, let them <laughs> Ten, shot man, with shit. some BBs. Yeah. About time he get shot. For real. Paintball. I wonder if paintball or BB had worse. Fucking paintball. You got hit with a paintball? No. I, that shows me right there. Yeah. I would not let a nigga shoot me with no paintball gun. Man, I'm trying to go. But I guess, but I've been shot with a BB. I wouldn't let a nigga shoot me with a BB now, though. So, Shit, no. I guess they argue. I'm just imagining how bad that would hurt. I don't even want to try that. <laughs> I, t- I actually try a paintball, though. That's the third part. Mm-hmm. That shit just look like it. Because don't the paintballs bust on you? Pause. Because <laughs> they don't, like, it's not, they don't come out the gun. It's Pride Month, bro. You ain't got to say pause. It's yes, Pride Month. Yes, I do. To all our LGBTQ. We're a great ambassador. <laughs> to the A. <eight>, uh, <laughs> Yeah, but that was right. Yeah, that was right. Yeah. But um, Shout out to what you. I was saying, what I mean, what I was trying to say was that when you shoot a paintball, it don't come out the gun like just paint. It don't it come out. Oh yeah, it's a ball. Yeah, like yeah. so they have to bust on you. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I was probably. No, you don't. You know what I'm saying? You, but you touched <laughs> me with it. You ain't got to make my you ain't gotta example. Say, bust on you. you ain't got to touch me. Why didn't you go bust? Oh, come on. 
that's that would be. You ain't got to bust in my face. Yeah, see, pause. No, nah, no pause. It's Pride Month. You ain't got to pause. What about watching? It's not about us. What about March? Watch it in March. What's in March? It's not Pride Month. <laughs> oh well, yeah, I get it. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, like what if somebody just walked in the room on that part? You ain't got to bust out of my face. I mean, what you watching? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's Pride Month when this came out, so it's cool. Don't worry about it. And they ain't say pause or nothing. <laughs> yeah, so. Hey, that's really not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to say my pause to save my backside. Nick said, that nigga, nigga, he didn't say pause or nothing. I'm going to say, what is this? <laughs> Cut that off. So I'm going to say my pause. But yeah, that's why uh, I feel like the paintballs would hurt a little more. But I don't know. I'm willing to try to paintball. I don't want to paintball with shit. I know uh, some people that go paintball with that. See what nah, doing. see, I don't want to go with niggas that already go Oh, yeah, they, <laughs> they like your ass. Yeah, up. I ain't trying to get little. I'm trying, Probably to, won't even be I'm fun. trying to enjoy myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to shoot at niggas that also can't <laughs> shoot at me. Say, oh, you missed me. We suck at shooting these hoes right now. Three headshots. Yeah. So <laughs> paintball, you wanna come? Yeah. Oh yeah, come on. Say I'm trying to be all tactical and should be like sneaking up behind me. <laughs> Say it ain't nothing. But um jumping off of that. Mm-hmm. Today is June oh it's past midnight now, so today is June tenth, but when <laughs> I made my on this day it was June 9th. Yeah, so for the purpose of this it's June 9th. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Nothing really happened today. Only thing I have I have happened today, June 9, 1973, Secretariat. Mm. You know what that is? It's a horse. Yes, it is. Secretariat won the Triple Crown mm. on today, wow. back in 1973. Shout out and to the Secretariat. Yes, sir. Not only shout out to Secretariat, but shout out to the horse that won the Kentucky Derby this year. Seabiscuit. Who, it was not Seabiscuit, <laughs> but <laughs> um, who you would remember if you watched the episode with Mia, that horse failed the drug test. Oh, the horse that failed the drug test <laughs> won the Triple Crown? No, won the oh, Kentucky Derby oh, this Kentucky year. Derby. Oh, he was yeah. trying to win the Triple Crown, and he failed the drug test, and it went Shout out to him. Shout out to that horse. Never knew horses took the drug test, much less ever failed one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got to make sure they're not getting doped up. You know horses be on the roids, man? True, but I, don't, I ain't never heard one get popped. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you want to piss in this cup for me, Sir Charles? <laughs> walk up to the horse like, you serious? <laughs> you trying to give me this? <laughs> Say, man, this is dirty as fucking pig water, man. <laughs> this ain't come from no horse. <laughs> <laughs> so this, these are tranquilizers for beavers, man. <laughs> You're messing with some dangerous stuff, bro. Found all kinds of stuff in this horse system. Yeah, your hearing is not clean <laughs> at all. This <laughs> <laughs> party you out there, huh? <laughs> Yeah, there's no way I can take this urine. <laughs> it burnt my cup, sir. Yeah. <laughs> there's no urine in this cup anymore because it burnt through the bottle. It's some acid. That's what I'm trying to <laughs> tell Your horse is strung out on drugs. Not even much on them. He's, he should not be here. He should be at a rehab clinic. According to this piss, your horse has been dead for two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, uh, this piss is way too high. This horse overdosed two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> He's here. That's, uh, that's not going to work. Say two weeks. Um, since yeah, that's all my history for today. Mm. <laughs> Shout out. But um, I got some birthdays. Okay. June ninth. Birthday. Um, so we'll start back in nineteen thirty nine. June 9th, nineteen thirty nine. Dick Vitale. Dick Vitale. Oh baby. That's the only one I know. I'll Scintillating, know. sensational. Yes. The old white guy in the Geico commercial who pours the tub of Gatorade on his head. Mm-hmm. If you don't, if you didn't get those references. He's a PT peer. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome, baby, with a capital A. Yes, sir. Now, 1961, happy Michael J. Fox. Happy, 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 happy. Oh, I did say author. Happy, happy. Actor, producer, author. Back to the future. Nineteen Stanley, oh, 1963, Johnny Depp. Happy, 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 happy. He is 58. He don't even look 58. Good for Johnny Depp. Shout out to Blow. Go watch Blow if you've never seen it before. That's a good movie. Black don't crack, but white just might. 
pay. But in the case of Johnny Depp, it didn't pay. <laughs> keep it real tight. That was off the top of my life, man. I'm about to keep that. Um, 1973, Teddy Bruschi. Happy, happy, happy. Football player. Used to play for the Patriots. Yeah. Super Bowl champion. Yeah. Got a ring with old Tommy. Fuck Tom Brady. Yeah. <laughs> 1977, <laughs> Peja Stoyakovich. Famous happy, basketball happy, happy, player. Happy. Used to play for the New Orleans yeah. Hornets and, and the Sacramento Kings. Kings. Yeah. Had a three-point jumper that was as wet as Pinky. Mm-hmm. That boy could shoot from the parking lot before we knew who Steph Curry was. Yeah, man. Fun fact about him, when I used to play the uh, three-point shootout on NBA Live, I'd always pick him yeah. because I would never miss. I'd get 30s every time. He was a With cheating coach. <laughs> now, 1980, we got Udonis Haslam, the Miami Heat logo Happy mascot, Happy. legend, all of that. Shout out to UD, the only man that's always had braids. And never took them out. And nobody ever clowned him or ever will. Well, he got them out now. Oh, you got them out. Oh, he showed you. He got a whole fade. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. Now, we'll see y'all in the next one, man. Y'all have a good day. Wait. I think I had something else. Uh, all right, never mind. I guess the thing. Y'all tune in next time. Peace. Later.